Good morning or afternoon or evening or whatever time it is that you're watching this. Um, now, I wonder if you can guess what this is going to be about if I show you this here. Hello. Um, why do you think I'd be showing you a mirror? What could that be about? I'm sure you already guessed. Today will be about uh, reflection. No, I don't mean reflection as in when you stay up late all night and then you wake up late for school the next day and upon reflection you realise that was a bad idea. I mean reflection in the physics sense um, and in particular reflection of light. So first of all, as I said in the last video, the reason that I can see everything in front of me now, um, including this paper, is because the light is bouncing off of it uh, and reflecting back into my eyes. That's why it's hard to see things at night, because there's not as much light to bounce off of things to go into my eyes. That's that's generally why it's different. Um, well, it's difficult, sorry, not why it's different. Um, so, again, I'm going to go through the core questions uh, to make sure you understand those. And I, again, I can't take too long on this video due to my storage facility issues. 21st century problems, eh? Uh, so, first of all, what is the scientific word for bouncing off of something? Well, here we go, it's at the top, reflection. Um, I'm not sure whether you would really use reflection, the word reflection when we're talking about, you know, everyday things like a, a bouncy ball or, you know, a child on a trampoline, maybe you would. Um, but for this video, again, specifically, we're going to talk about reflection of light. Um, so that is the special scientific word. Uh, what is meant by the term incidence? Okay, so... Um, an incident ray is one in which um, it's basically, another term for it would be incoming ray. Um, so if I go back to the example I drew before, I drew my sun, I'm going to draw it even worse this time. Um, I had my, my cube or my box here, I had my eye here, there's my eyeball, there's my pupil. Um, and... Again, important that I must use a ruler, or, I mean, this isn't a ruler, but you know what I mean. Um, this here um, is my incoming ray, uh, or my incident ray. It's the one that's incident, incident upon an object. So this ray is incident upon this box here. Um, okay, so that's my ray of incidence, or incident ray also known as incoming ray and then I wonder if you can guess what this one would be called remember I'm drawing how you're actually able to see this box um, remembering my arrows this one is the reflected ray um, so this one here incident ray this one here uh, reflected ray Okay, um, if I run out of space and this video decides to stop itself, then this will just be part one. So make sure you look out for a second part to this video. But that's only if this cuts off and I don't know if it will yet. Um, so that's what we mean by uh, incident or incident ray. Um, on ray diagrams, what's the normal? Okay, so this is a ray diagram. Um, still recording? Yes, it is. Um, but what is a normal? That's a bit more difficult. So if I was going to draw a mirror, which we tend to draw um, like, we tend to draw it like this. This is, if you see something that looks like this, it's normally, usually, a mirror. So I'll even write mirror there, so you know. This is the surface of my mirror. So. There's a source of light, and here is my 
can you remember what this is called hopefully you can it says it over here this is my incident ray i've drawn it coming from somewhere over here doesn't matter what the source of light is could be a light bulb could be the sun could be a torch doesn't matter source of light over here here is my incidence ray hitting my mirror and we know that it's going to reflect off of the mirror but how do we actually know at what angle it's going to reflect off of this is where we would draw a normal so any time that you have an incidence ray hitting a surface of, of something of an object you would draw a what's called a normal or normal line now your normal line is like an imaginary line that is uh, perpendicular to the surface where the light is hitting it. Okay, so it is not, not going to be like this. That is, that's 90 degrees, but that's not 90 degrees to the surface where the, the light is hitting it. So 90, 90 degrees to this, I can actually use this here because it says, if you look carefully, it says 90.